Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, teaching the Western Mysteries. The Sephirot on the Tree of Life Tiferet After Gevorah emanates Tiferet, the sixth Sephirah. Tiferet means beauty because Tiferet is the principle of balance and harmony. For in Tiferet, pure consciousness balances out the polarities. In Gevurah, we had reached the principle of movement. In Tiferet, the movement becomes aware of itself. Tiferet is also the principle of individual consciousness. The colour of Tiferet is yellow or gold. These are the colours of the sun and symbols of light. Gold, the noblest of the metals, symbolises character refinement. Traditionally, the colours gold and purple or violet were assigned to Tiferet. In ancient times, purple was reserved only for kings and high priests. Another traditional colour is a yellowish-green, the colour of the fruit etrog, which plays an important role in the Jewish tradition. Tiferet is located on the middle pillar, which is named after it, as in pillar of consciousness or pillar of equilibrium. Sometimes the middle pillar is also called column of consciousness or column of beauty. The pillar of consciousness corresponds to man, who, between the bright and the dark pillar, strides through the entrance of the temple and becomes aware of the polarities in himself and in the universe. It is the task of consciousness, Tiferet, to consciously weigh up and decide between the benevolent constructive forces in Chesed and the limiting restraining forces in Gevorah. Between the legislative power which is assigned to Chesed and the executive power which belongs to Gevorah, Tiferet corresponds to the judicial power. Further names of Tiferet are Emet, Truth, Mishpat, Judgment, and Rachamim, Compassion. Tiferet is also referred to as the Seat of Solomon. King Solomon is still known today for his wise jurisdiction. The divine name of Tiferet is Yad He Vav He Eloah Ve Dahat. Eloah is a poetic form of El, which means God. Ve Dahat means and Gnosis. Eloah Ve Dahat therefore means God and Gnosis, or God and Cognition. The Archangel of Tiferet is Raphael. The meaning of Raphael is Healer of God. Tiferet is the Sephirah of Healing, which means restoring the harmony of body, soul and spirit. Raphael, the Healer of God, is the patron of the mysteries of spiritual healing. In the Boel, the Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, this teaching is called Refua, which means healing. Refua was developed by Salomo Baal Shem and is based on the sacred principles of Kabbalah. The angels of Tiferet are the Malachim, which means messengers or simply angels. Some symbols of Tiferet are the Laman, the hexagram, the rosy cross and the cube. All these symbols are related to the Sephirah Tiferet, or describe one aspect of Tiferet. Let's take a closer look at the Laman and the Hexagram. The Laman describes an office or task of the mystery student. This can be a certain position in ritual work, such as the officer of a quarter, temple guardian, temple scribe or temple messenger. 
This Laman here denotes a Refua practitioner. The hexagram, the six-pointed star, is an important symbol in the Kabbalah and the Western mystery tradition. It is also referred to as the Seal of Solomon or the Magan David, which means Shield of God. In the hexagram, the four elements represented by their alchemical symbols are combined to a harmonious arrangement. This corresponds to the balancing function and the harmony of Tiferet. In ritual symbolism, the hexagram corresponds to the higher source of the elements. The allegorical pictorial representation of Tiferet is a majestic king or a male child. Another symbolic representation which reveals a further meaning of Tiferet is the martyr. He stands for sacrifice, especially for letting go of his ego for a higher purpose. Here we see the philosopher Socrates, faithful to his ideals, who empties the cup of hemlock and dies a martyr's death. The sun is assigned to Tiferet. In Kabbalistic astrology, it corresponds to our basic character. The position of the sun in the horoscope shows how and in what area of life we express our individuality. In the human body, the solar plexus corresponds to Tiferet. Tiferet is assigned the soul level of Ruach. Ruach means spirit or breath. Ruach is the pure human consciousness. The sixes of the minor arcana belong to Tiferet. They stand for success according to the nature of their element. The kings or princes of the court cards are also assigned to Tiferet. The virtues of Tiferet are self-knowledge, devotion to the great work, humility, readiness to make sacrifices and inner peace. The vices of Tiferet are pride, arrogance, vanity, egotism and a know-it-all manner. The spiritual experience of Tiferet is the vision of the harmony of things. It is the experience that everything that happens is part of the divine plan. Isn't it fascinating that the principles of healing, harmony and beauty are so closely connected? Have you experienced this connection in your life? Let us know in the comment section. We do hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel.